John, are you here? John, John White, we are here to extract you. Please maintain your current position. You brought a chopper? I told you to come along. They're not with me. I don't know who they are. Damn it. John, there's no need to run. We're here to help you. Why the hell did you send a chopper? John took off. I didn't send anything. If it's the First Sons, you need to get to John before they do. Follow that chopper, and don't let it out of your sight. One other thing. It looks like John is scrambling his signal because all I get is static. I'm trusting you on this one, Cole. Keep me informed. Not like I got much of a choice. Stand down, John! This operation's been terminated! No one's taking me in! Clear. Great. I save his life and he bails. We have two minutes, 45 seconds before they can triangulate my position. And I plan on being gone before then. So keep your mouth shut and listen. I know you're not with the agency. Too undisciplined, too cocky. But I also know that you want the same thing I do. The Ray Sphere. And you're gonna help me get it. So you know where it's at? One of my UAVs spotted it on top of Alden's tower. Find someone to help you retrieve it. Someone you can trust. One minute, 52 seconds. What do you want me to tell Moya? Who the hell's Moya? Uh, your wife? You're getting played. I've never been married and don't know anyone named Moya. One minute, 19 seconds. You're screwing with me, right? She's an FBI agent just like you. <laughs> FBI agent? Yeah, that'd be the day. I hate those bastards. You won't see me, but I'll know when you have the Ray Sphere. Once it's in your possession, we'll figure out how to destroy that damn thing. I was a little worried you weren't going to show. So what's going on? The Ray Sphere is up at the top of this tower. Once we have it, we're getting the hell out of here. You win. Come on, we need to climb up this damn thing. Head over to the elevator and I'll figure out a way to bring you up. Anyway, ran into John. He told me it's up here. John? You mean Moya's husband? He says he's not her husband. Never heard of her. What the hell does that mean? It means that one of them is lying. Just don't know which one. Damn it, Cole. I told you not to trust the feds. But you ain't still thinking about turning over the race sphere to him, are you? John says he wants me to help him destroy it. Seems like a good idea to me. Destroy it? Yeah, right. I bet my bottom dollar he just wants to fire that baby up. Or sell it off to someone for some serious cashola. Hey, what the hell's going on? There's no one even up here. I know you, both of you. Locked me up like an animal. Tied me to that bed. Tried to electrocute me. I showed you, though. You and those pigs! Zeke, stay back there. When I give the word, you go for the race sphere. I know why you're here, what you want. Nobody's taking a damn thing from me! Zeke, do it, go! Disappointed. You 
dare mention my father! I'll kill you! All of you! Tear you from limb to limb! Zeke, get out of here! Run! Zeke yanked the ray sphere out of its cradle and was caught between Alden and Kessler. It was definitely time to escape. But he just stood there, petrified. You see, through the fear, he realized that the key to his dreams, the tool to make him super-powered, was right between his hands. Asshole makes the choice to kill thousands, stealing their lives so that he'll be transformed, and then... Nothing. Everyone's fine. No change at all. Kessler's first to grasp the situation. Claims to know what's wrong. If Zeke brings him the Ray Sphere, Kessler will be able to give Zeke the powers he craves. My best friend looks me in the eye and then makes his second mistake. Alden goes ballistic at the loss of the sphere. The tower shakes and it starts to rip apart. But I was just dumbfounded. Barely felt the impact. I told you to pick someone you could trust. 93 seconds. Zeke's my best friend, like a brother to me. He's about the only person I do trust. Or did, anyway. Well, you blew it. And now Alden's on a killing spree and Kessler has the Ray Sphere. We need to resolve both situations. 63 seconds. I'm starting to think none of this is my problem. Maybe I should just let those two slug it out and then swoop in and nab the sphere when the dust settles. What if one of them activates it and kills another 10,000 people in the process? And who the hell knows what that Moya person wants with it? No. This is the only way. 38 seconds. You'd better be serious about destroying it. I'm in no mood. You have my word. Alden's heading into the historic district. Catch up to him, take him out, and then look for Kessler. We'll be in touch. Alden's tearing across that bridge, heading for the historic district. Stop him before he reaches the other side. Cole, what the hell is going on? There's something wrong with your phone. Every time I try and call you, I get disconnected. I don't have time to run tech support for you, boy. Figure it out yourself. Later. You won't stop me! No one will! Alden, this ends now. Holy shit. Ignorant pissant! This is what my father wanted. Me, governing all that I could see. My destiny will be fulfilled. You're like Kessler. Craving what doesn't belong to you. None of you understand. See the truth. But I do. I see it all. Thief of a friend! All of you! Alden no longer seemed like a threat to anyone. Just some old guy howling about how Kessler had stolen his first son birthright. Then he changed his tone. Claimed he wanted to work with me to get revenge. To join forces and kill Kessler. The guy must have felt my hesitation. Because in that moment of indecision, jumped. No normal man could have survived that fall, but Alden's a conduit. Same rules don't apply. Either way, this thing's coming to a head. My enemies are all gathered here in the historic district. Kessler's preparing them for the final battle. Yeah, this is the finish line. Just wish I wasn't crossing it alone. Now that Alden's out of the way, it's time to move against Kessler. Strategically, though, he's got you pinned in the historic district. Head over to the 19th Street drawbridge and open it. That way you have an out in case things go haywire. 20 seconds. Where are you gonna be? I'll be there when you need me. Five seconds. Heard that one before. Oh. 
our time together is drawing to a close, Cole. And I fear that you're still not ready to face what is coming. So I've decided to accelerate things. Evolve or die, as they say. Shall we begin? I know what Trish means to you, Cole. How much you love her. But we all have our part to play. Even her. And that's why she's sitting here next to me. I planted a series of bombs across the city, and each is on a timer. Fail to disarm any of them before they detonate, and she dies. Cool! You bastard. I've engaged the timer on the first bomb. You don't have much time. Two more people, alive because of you, Cole. Someone's brother, sister. The next bomb is on. That's five people now. Five people that will see another sunrise. But I wonder, did you save them because it was the right thing to do? Or because you're trying to protect Trish? I've started the timer on the next bomb. It's amazing the things you forget. The smell of someone. The way their eyes light up when they're happy. Those are the things to cherish, Cole. Tick tock, tick tock. The final bomb is counting down. And it comes down to this. Your final test. From one roof hangs Trish, the love of your life. From the other, six doctors. Think of all the good they'll be able to do, the thousands of lives they'll save. Which is more important, Cole? The life of one, or the lives of many? Bombs are attached to each platform. You have time to save one. But not both. Choose. I wish there was some other way. That Trish didn't have to die. She's such a special woman. But in times of war, crisis, one must learn to ignore their feelings and do Please what benefits down. the whole, not ah! the individual. Time slowed down as Trish fell. All my powers, and I couldn't do a thing. For a second she sprung to life, just long enough to say that she was proud of me for what I'd become. Proud that I was helping people with my powers, and that she loved me for it. I buried her in the park alongside others who died since the blast. Kessler's gonna pay for this. I'm gonna find that sick bastard, and I'm gonna kill him.